Let's look at the question that we are given. It says to us, during winter, many children developed coughs, okay? Cough syrups are sold in bottles packed in rectangular prism-shaped boxes. So we can see already, this is the rectangular-shaped uh, box for the cough mixture. And you can see a nice little um, representation in that column over there. And it says to us, children are given cough syrup using cylindrical measuring cups. So this is the measuring cup um, that they are talking about, and it is a cylinder. What is a cylinder? A cylinder is basically you having a circle and the circle having volume in it. That's what a cylinder is. The diagrams below show the bottle, um, the box, and the measuring cup. So we've got all the stuff that we need here. And look at this. Like I was saying to you guys, you are going to be getting formulas. Those are the formulas. You just need to know how to use them. The first question that we are asked um, in terms of this beautiful scenario is use the information above to answer the questions that follow. So the, fo the questions that follow say, consider the cough syrup box. So in this particular question, we're just working with the cough syrup box, um, which is a rectangular prism. What is a rectangular prism? It's just a rectangle that has volume. That's a rectangular prism. Calculate in centimeter cube. Already you know you are calculating volume because centimeter cube is giving us volume. Square gives us area, okay? The total surface area of the cough syrup box. Before we carry on with that, total surface area simply means the total area of the faces. So if we are working with the box, we've got the top of the box, the bottom of the box, that's two sides already. The one side and the one side, that's four sides already. The back and the front, and that's six sides. And that's just me now um, explaining where the two times length times breadth, two times length times breadth um, is coming from. It's just you calculating um, the faces of the box in this particular case. So we are going to be calculating the volume in centimeter cube of this box that carries the syrup. Let's look at the dimensions that we are given here. So we've been given the following dimensions. We've got our length and breadth, and we can see that this is a square. And because this is a square, the properties of a square means that all the sides are going to be equal. So that's 6.5 um, centimeters, 65 millimeters. So that's where they're just going to throw us off over there. But the answer needs to be, um, our answer is going to definitely be in centimeter cube. That's what our answer is going to be in. So we need to look at the dimensions we've been given and we need to convert everything into centimeters for it to give us centimeter cube. Okay, so already there's the total surface area formula that we're going to be using. But before we can use that, I always say to learners, please make sure um, that you've got all the dimensions incorrectly, meaning that millimeter needs to be changed to centimeter and that millimeter also to centimeters. Let's do our conversions um, before we can carry on with anything else. So the first conversion that I'm going to be doing, firstly, I'll just say um, length is equal to 6.5 centimeter breadth or width is 65 millimeters which is also equal to 6.5 centimeters so we've got that already and then the next one is 125 millimeters and that's the height of the box it's 125 milliliters um oh i wrote meters sorry about that millimeters and if I convert that I need to just divide it um, by 10 which makes it 12.5 centimeters quite a lengthy um, box that we are talking about or using over there so let's look at the formula that we have for surface area this is the surface area formula and we need to use it correctly as it is I'm just going to erase that so we can see what we are talking about so you remember what I said to you guys about the twos that you are going to be working with. There's a two there, there's a two, and there's another two. It simply means those 
the tools that you've been given simply means that the top of the box is equal to the bottom of the box. So once you've found the area for the top, you found the area for the bottom. It means that the left side of the box is equal to the right side of the box. So once you've found the area for the left side of the box, you've also found the area for the right side of the box. Means that the front is equal to the back. So that's why they say to you two times, okay? You're adding all the faces of this box. Let's add the faces of the box. So, total surface area. Total surface area, so I'll say total surface area. I'm going to rewrite the formula for us. Is equal to 2 times length times width, which is the same as breadth. So I said to you there, width and breadth is the same thing. Plus 2 times length. Ugh. Length times height, not plus, sorry. Length times height. Please make sure you're writing the correct things because you can see already. Um, two times width times height. So that's the formula that we are going with. I'm just going to write it over there again. So two, the length that we had, we said was 6,5 and the width is 6,5 plus two times. The length is 6,5. The height is 12,5 plus 2 times um, width is 6,5 and the height is 12,5. Let's go put that into our calculator. We also need to make sure that we are putting in the correct values because we do not want to make that type of mistake. 2 times 6,5 times 6,5. Ooh, I said 6,6, 6, delete. 6,5 plus 2 times 6,5 times 12,5 plus 2 times 6,5 times 12,5. I should have put in everything and I should be correct. Let's see. 409.5, but I'm just going to do that. 409.5 centimeter cube, not square. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And if you write cube, you are going to lose marks. So please be careful um, in terms of your unit of measurement. I've seen learners losing marks because they put in the wrong unit of measurement, guys. Having the answer, it's correct, it's there, but the unit of measurement is incorrect. I cringe and I cry, and there's nothing I can do about it. So the next question says to us, give a practical reason why a carton uh, picture would feature on the box of a syrup for children. It's actually a cartoon picture, I'm sorry about that. Obviously, because cartoons relate more to children, right? And the answer that you would give there would be relative. So your, your neighbor's answer sh should be quite different to your answer. So don't be um, too skeptical in terms of that. Just write whatever that comes to your mind um, that seems appropriate, guys. If it's appropriate, you will get the mark. It needs to be appropriate in order for you to get the mark. That is two marks. So it's an easy peasy two marks that you're getting there. 2.1.2 says calculate in centimeters. So you see we've already um, changed everything into centimeters so we don't have a big problem there. Calculate in centimeters the height of the medicine. So I'm going to just put the, the um, there it is. So what we are calculating is this height over here and we need to calculate this in centimeters. Okay, and then it says to us, um, determine the cup if the diameter is 2,52 centimeters and the volume is 10. So I'm going to just write down all that information that we have been given. So the information that we have been given over here um, is that the diameter of the cup, so we'll just turn that 2 so that we're not confused. The diameter of the cup is 2.5 two centimeters. That's the diameter of the cup. 
And we know that if we have a circle, the diameter is from the one point of the circle to the other point of the circle, cutting the circle into half. And then the volume is 10 milliliters. Look at that. We're working with centimeters and we're working with milliliters. That means that maybe there's a little bit of a conversion that we might need to do. And you know what the beautiful thing is? There, we've been given the, the conversion. That type of conversion will always be given to you guys. So it says to us that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cube. So let's go um, and just write that down for ourselves. So that is equal to 10 centimeter cube. Stunning. So we need to find the height. And the, the um, formula for the volume of a cylinder, and we're using volume because we've been given the volume of a cylinder over there. So volume, I'm just going to say this. Uh, ooh. Cylinder. Volume of cylinder is equal to pi times radius square times height. Okay? Pi has been given to us, so we don't need to struggle um, when it comes to pi because pi has been given to us as 3,142. Always use the pi that you have been given. And then radius, we've been given diameter. So it means that we need to use this over here. And the relationship between radius and diameter is that the radius begins there. The diameter is from there to there, but the radius is from here to here. So that's the radius, okay? So what are we going to do? We're going to take the diameter and we're going to divide it by 2. So we're going to say 2.52 divided by 2 square. You get a mark for this, guys. You get a mark for saying um, diameter divided by 2. So don't lose those marks over there. And don't go and say diameter times 2 because that's no longer the radius. And then we can then find the height, okay? We can then find the height. But let's put in this volume that we've been given over here, which is that 10. So we're going to manipulate our formula. It's important for you to know how to manipulate your formula because sometimes um, learners become very scared when they have to man manipulate a formula. So it means that we are going to divide both sides by this value over here which is going to leave us with just the H. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say 10 divided, I'm making that nice and big, by 3,142 times. I'm going to put that in um, my calculator so that I don't get confused in terms of what to do with that. So what am I going to say? I'm going to say 2,52. Oops, let's put that in a bracket there. 2, 2,52 2, divided by 2, divided by 2, close my bracket, square it. So it's going to give me a nice answer over there, which is 1,5876. 1, 1,5876. I'm writing the whole value so that I don't lose any marks in between. So now I can put all of this into my calculator and it will give me the height that I am looking for. So it's going to be 10 divided by, I'm going to put all of that into um, brackets, or I could just make it a lacquer. Um, that's the beauty of this calculator where you can just put things into fraction form like that. So 10 all over 3,142 times 1.5876. So I'm going to round that answer off to two decimal places and it's going to give me 2,00, okay? I will not consider that 4,7 going onwards because the 4 is below 5 um, and then it just gives me 2,00, which is the same as 2. So the height is then 2 centimeters. 2 centimeters is the height. Some people would prefer it to be on the other side, but honestly, six and nine, hey? Two, there we go. Whatever that you want to um, make it in that particular case.